today beta what we'll do is i don't think so we did discuss uh, a validating a text box did we samaya did we discuss validating a text text box till now no sir no today we'll do that we'll work on that okay uh, because uh, this is one of the typical question that comes in the ca exams okay it has come four time so let's let's uh, have a look at it and i would like uh, right after this class obviously the way we we do it in the class is that <clears throat> um 40 minutes 50 minutes i teach in the rest of the time you practice so we'll do the same thing today as well once i'm done i would like you to sit back and i would like you to practice after this okay <clears throat> so i'm recording this as well the first thing obviously what we need to do is i first of all have to make is a form so uh, i'm recording this i'll share this with you right away inside that form i'll make is a table and inside a table i'll just make a text box and a button so just see what i plan to do so not in the script because the form basically is part of the content layer i will write the script but first we need to uh, design the form you will see forms over here once you come into common and if you don't see common you'll come into window insert you turn on the insert your this tab might be appearing here or might might be appearing at the top over here it depends on it can be over here as well okay so it doesn't make a difference it could be here or it could be there okay i i'll, I'll place it here let's say you could even find it over here as well so either here either here so if you come into common you will see over here so so sorry come to forms and the first thing i'll do is i'll <coughs> i will basically insert is the form <clears throat> so um i will i will name this as form let's form 1 now there are other things available over here such as the action uh we are not dealing with action okay in our a levels you might be working with with actions when you go into university and they might be teaching you this okay depends on um action basically means uh you will learn how to basically uh, uh throw the data in a database from the form right now what we're doing is we're going to validate the form we're going to make sure that the user enters the right entries in the form we are not going to save the entries in the back end database so once you click on on submit it first checks that are those entries correct by using javascripting it validates if the entries are correct the entries need to be saved in the back end database such as access such as oracle or whatever so what happens actually is um there is a middleware language in between between html and the database between html and database there is a middleware language known as <clears throat> active server pages or php you might have heard of both of them so by using php we will um connect the html fields with the database fields and whatever the user enters over there will be entered in our database so so this is the entire story of the action this is why i'm i'm leaving the action empty obviously it's not there in our syllabus at all but i wanted you to have a look at what action is you should have an idea so i'll just name the form and i'll name it as form 1 okay this is what i have so inside since i have my form now inside my form i would like to basically do is uh, i like to make a table so how do i make a table table basically is part of your common so if i come to common and over here you will see is i have a table and i'll make a table by simple 2 by 2 right now but i would like you to make um, today at least a, a, a two or two minimum two or three so here we go i could make this at the center okay and this table that i have i could simply select this two cells and in the properties you will see right over here as you can see merge selected cells you don't see the properties you come into windows and you could press even control f3 to turn on the properties so i repeat again you'll select these two and you'll merge them over here i would like to have is a button okay over here i will have the text let's say the name and over here i will actually have 
is the text box. And <clears throat> once we click on the button, and if someone has not entered anything in the text box, meaning if the text box is empty, it should tell me that please validate the text box. Okay, this is what our target today is. Okay, so um, first of all, I need to insert a button over here. Remember one thing, till now, I'm simply in my content layer. Okay, I'm just designing the form. So I'm placing content on my document. So, and since this is a part of your syllabus as well, you should be very well aware of it, all this. So <clears throat> I come into forms again, and over here, you see there are lots of objects, lots of objects. Uh, we will discuss uh, many of them as you proceed further, okay? Um, I'll discuss the button. Uh, all of you can hear me clearly, right? Because it says my internet connection is not stable. Uh, Samia Vita, all of you can hear me clearly, right? Yes, sir. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so I click on the button and button may I'll just uh, click okay. Achha, is me important part hai ke, um, I did make a button yesterday, but um, my button type was not submit, my button type was button. So I, I will leave it as button. Now the problem is why? Uh, again, I just explained to you that we don't need to submit. Okay, submission is when you want your data to uh, go into a database. You want it to be submitted. I, I don't want that. I just want it to validate. So I, I leave my button type as button not submit. So that's something that you should know over here right now. Okay, uh, somehow I could uh, center line it. Um, I, I can center line this as well. Uh, just one second. So, right, center line. Uh, might be changing the entire color of it, but that's not the purpose right now. We'll, we'll talk about this later on. So I need a text box over here. So inside here I type text box, so I'll use this. This is known as a text field. I'll click on it and uh, I'll name it as S. I will share with you today, um, right after this class, I, uh, the list of reserved keywords. Reserved keywords are very important. For example, you can't use name. Don't use name. Name is a reserved keyword. Don't use value. Don't use integer. Don't use such a kind of reserved keywords that can create problem for you. Because in the backend programming, these reserved keywords have been already used. So if you use them in your programming, there can be a conflict and there are conflicts. So this is why I use the word S name, not name. Okay. So I'll try avoiding those typical um, names or keywords that are used in the programming. Okay. I'll try to use something of my own. So I make a text box by the name of S name and I press OK. I have that. Okay. You can see that I have it. And so um, the entire story basically uh, ends up with, with the form is that in my entire document, okay, this is my entire document. It's known as document, doc type, HTML, doc type, HTML, okay? And inside my document, I have a form by the name of form one. Inside my form one, I have a text box by the name of S name. So if I want to refer to S name, I would say is document dot form one dot s name this is the path and this is how i can reach my text box right okay got and i did think so i think so we did discuss get element by id iman or samia everyone no and um, did we alina no sir, no, sir. We okay so then I, I'm sorry, we are doing two things today. We are uh, doing this and that, then I'll stop. Okay, it will not be a big deal, don't worry. So <clears throat> get element ID is important as well. We'll see, we'll see. First, you you tell me, is this enough or do we have to discuss it? That, that's separate thing, separate thing anyway. So um, till now, any problem? Anyone? No, sir. Okay, excellent, excellent. So <clears throat> now, uh, since we have 
uh, created our basic, very basic uh, form. Okay, and uh, so I repeat again, I first of all, I made a form, insert form, I made a table, I uh, did um, basically merged uh, the cells to uh, uh, have the button, I insert the button, I type the name and I insert the text box. I made sure that the form has a particular name and my text box basically has a particular name as S name. So now we'll start our scripting. So uh, my scripting obviously will be here and I'll start with my script tag and I'll close my script tag. Inside my script tag, I, I will obviously work, work with function uh, because click of a button and it's an event. So event should be triggered and we talked about event handling yesterday. So I will talk about is a function. What am I doing? Sorry. Uh, so I'll make a function, let's say validate me. And in case of validate me, function will have its own code block. We know that. I'll simply make it very simple. In fact, why am I doing it? So I'll just add over here is a very simple thing, which is alert for now. And I would say over here is enter the name first. And on the button, I would say is on click, <clears throat> well, let me. Now, if I preview this, and if I click on submit, it says enter the name first. Okay. This means if I enter something, oh, wait, right now it's, it will not be working. It will not be working because I have to do one thing. Very important thing is that inside my function, I need to have is the if statement. I'm so sorry. In this statement, I would do is if go to my document, go to my form one, within form one, do you have S name? and dot value of that is double equal to nothing, double equal to, I'll just talk about it again. Then if has its own code block, so from here, <clears throat> if that is the case, till here, alert. And this is why I would prefer, I would prefer indenting this, indent this even bit more. So the reason why we indent towards the right is the function has its own code block, opening of a bracket and closing of a bracket. This is the code block of my function. But if inside my function, I need to use an if statement or the for, for loop uh, or the while loop, I will use it's, uh, a separate code block for that. So that's my if statement. And my if statement has its own code block. Okay, so this, this nested thing, just like Excel, we will continue. So the if statement says, if statement obviously, if if has its own, uh, these, these function brackets, one bracket over here and one bracket over, just like the alert has its own brackets, as you can see. These are some things that you need to remember. Uh, the, the function that you create has empty bracket. There, there are no parameters over here right now. Not right now, which means we can, but not be discussing it. Okay, so. I say, if you go to my document, if you go to my form one, and if you go to my S name, and if the value is double equal to, uh, double equal to is comparison, which means compare a null value with whatever is over here, which means if a null value is inside this, if nothing is inside this, uh, if this statement is true, then give me this matches, message. Otherwise, if something is present in this text box, then you will not give me this message. Okay, so I, I could simply now click on live and see what happens. If I click on give me the message. Now, if I write something and I click, it doesn't give me that message because uh, once I have typed something, once I've typed something, this condition is not true. This condition is not true. 
So I repeat again, this will only occur if the if condition is true. Any problem? Anyone? Any? No, sir. Very good. No, sir. Um, right. Uh, I, I could even do is, I could come here and write else. And um, let's say I could write is alert. To make, make sure it, uh, we know it's working. Um, data has been entered. <clears throat> so, kya hoga? Let's see. Now, if I submit, enter the first name. Okay, enter the first name. I enter. I submit. It says your data has been entered. So now that feels a bit, a bit better that I know it's working. So if the statement is true, okay, this happens. Otherwise, this will happen. So you can have, have the if else as well. So, so this is how you implement the if else statement. Okay, uh, we call this the selection as well in programming. We call this the selection. So you can select multiple things. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so. Um, I will now try to take it to a much more sophisticated angle. But what, what we'll do is um, listen to this. Um, I would say over here is apart from this. <coughs> document dot for one dot s name dot style dot <laughs> color is equals to yellow yeah. all right so let's try so it turns yellow this means i have to do enter something over here Okay, fine. I could even work with the background color, uh, back in border as well. How do you do that? Uh, go to my document, go to my form one, go to my S name. Dot style is 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 a new uh, method that we are discussing, built in method you're discussing within within Java today. And within style, you have something known as border. Um, uh, and let's say make it blue. So the color turns to blue as well. Right? Else, let's do one more thing. Since um, I'm sure all of you um, have got this, let's say. Um, Anyone has a problem till here? I mean, before I continue, let me add another row below. So I'll come here and I'll say table, uh, insert row and column. So I'll insert a row below because I want to, let's say, add over here is the, the country, for example. And I'll come here, I'll come to forms and I'll add is text field and I'll name it as country uh, so with C capital remember okay uh, so I have country with C capital. Now if I have to uh, make another <coughs> if I have to value the country all I'll do is I'll, I'll just move the else and I'll just copy the if statement I'll just copy it and I'll come down and I'll paste the if statement and I'll change the s name to Country. And right. So this means if I if I now preview this and if I and if I enter something here, it's in the country. So it works perfectly fine. You you get the point, both of you. But what actually should happen is, well, what actually should happen is when I click, 
uh, uh, first it should ask me uh, to enter this. And if I enter, this should turn white again. Agree with me? It should not remain yellow. How can we resolve this? It's a very simple concept. Um, so what, what happens actually is that if this particular condition is met, it will jump to the next one. So when it jumps to the next one, what we can do is, I will simply uh, copy these two again and right after this, I would say that the previous, the, the, the S name border color will make it nothing and both background and border nothing and change the color of the country. So as over here, the S names color should be changed to nothing. Let me see if everything is right. Um, hold on, hold on. What's happening? <clears throat> so I will type is this his name. Right? Okay, so that's the way we can do it. Please have a look at this and ask me any question. If you can clearly see it. Sir, I have not written the end for L statement like the last time. You can see it, but you have to note that this is the end of L. I have written it was considering the entire thing in one go. It was wrong. L's benefit is that it deals this separately. L's then it separately. So uh, that was a bit confusion. We'll make a big form. We have to decide on something. Decide on the exams. We are to decide on something. So my decision is that until the next Saturday, whatever I teach you, whatever I will teach you, that will come. Because I want to leave the next uh, time hai before the exam, for the revision. Maybe you want to ask me something. Because I will be taking only your practical. I'm not teaching uh, taking theory. Uh, you have animations. Okay. Um, and we, we have done graphic. And we have programming for the web. My three modules, hai. so you'll have one practical paper. Okay, so ugly two classes, man. Friday and Saturday, I will be teaching you further. Our Saturday, the Joe Kushman in JavaScript thing. Uske base pay, I will even tell you the past papers uh, that we will be tempting, and that will be com coming. You get the point, all of you? Okay, I have to define a limit today. Revision ka time him milega na. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, the thing is that as far as this validation is concerned, is there any issue that you got the entire... Yes, yes, sir. Sir, you have a background color or border color. Do you have a camel case? Yes, it's a camel case, sir. Do you have a color change? The background is one... The background is one... Who is the color change? No, no, no. You, 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 you are absolutely right. It's a method. It's a property. It's a, okay, an element ki property. Hai na. It's not a method because ke aage, aage bracket to hai na. it's not like this. Is it like this? No. It's not a method. You get the point? Yes, sir. Okay. Mother, uh, yes, since a uh, sub method. Hai, yeah, it, it's it's a it comes under style style ke under hi aate hain sub category hai but camel case mein rakhna isko bhi zaruri hai aapka question bilkul sahi tha bas isko bhi main kar sakta hu setting mein jaake karna padega ki even my sub styles sub elements that you have unki color bhi change ho bhi hum kar sakte hain magar is fine ab bas yaad rakho ke background is is one word so if its ka b will be small or square what preceding ka c will be capital so it has to be that way So it's, I think it's pretty easy ki itna mushkil nahi hai. What do you say, Hana? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's me. But 
anyone any particular problem sir aap iski presentation dikhayenge ise live karke ye karne ka karta hu i'll click on live aur live mein click karke maine kuch enter nahi kiya i'll click on it says enter the name first main i enter the name and i submit it says enter the country first so then i enter the country abhi maine country ko white nahi kiya वन से करेंगे हाउ वुड वी डू दैट सो एल्स लगा के एल्स लगा के एग्जैक्टली वी कैन हैव इज एल्स ओवर हियर और एल्स में आके हम कहेंगे इधर ये हमारा है कंट्री Okay. So that's the way this will be processed. <clears throat> And frankly speaking, it's not a big deal. Okay, you will gradually realize that uh, programming is not such a big deal. Ah, it's my obviously you have to be more innovative. Ah, you have to think of different ideas. You can ask me. Um, we have things and whatever. You want to practice this? We get an invite to discuss. Karne. What do you say, all of you? डिस्कस कर ले अच्छा काम कर सकता हूँ इसके ओवर हेयर ओके इधर आके इधर I can define over here. Oh, yeah, either. Okay, like this paragraph. I can use this paragraph. First, I give this paragraph. I give ID is equals to let's say me. Okay, this is what you have to practice. So over here, I just imagine I have a paragraph tag. Just in the question, it's written. It's empty. But I have given this paragraph tag an ID of me. ठीक हो गया. Now what I can do is. <coughs> I can simply come here and say, let's say, document dot get element by ID. अच्छा element का मतलब element means tag. Okay, and, and the other name of tag is element and vice versa. So it says, uh, go to your document and you try to find an element by the uh, by any ID. Do you have one? Yes, I have an I. I have an element by the name of me. बिल्कुल ठीक हो गया. And dot inner HTML. Then what is inner? It means you will find this element in in inside HTML. You will find this inside HTML. उसको assign कर दो. Oh, okay. Assign कर दो. Uh, enter the name. Right. इससे क्या होगा? Let's see. इससे ये होगा कि वहाँ से enter the name is appearing over here. So once I enter the name, Zara will disappear. नहीं होगा तो वही same old story begins. The same old story is कि मैं इसी को copy करूँगा और second if में जाके I will just paste it and I would say कि जो मेरा है go to my document get element by ID जो me है उसको आप कर दो empty null value nothing. So this means if I enter something, it says oh sorry. No, I do not submit. It says, "Enter the name." I enter the name. Was khali ho gaya. You get the point. It was such an easy concept. But the only thing you have to remember is every table ko ID de sakte ho, H one ko ID de sakte ho, A I paragraph ko ID. You can give ID to any HTML tag. This is the entire story of. Get element by ID. Is it clear? Do 
Yes, sir. Iman, and in everyone, is it clear? So, we get element by ID. We discuss kar liya. ठीक है. So, this is how it works. You can proceed it further. ठीक है. कि ये किस तरह काम करेगा. Sure, anyone has no problem with get element by ID. Who is clear? हो गया आप लोगों को? Anyone who missed the class today, sir. वीडियो लेक्चर तो मैं शेयर कर रहा हूँ वीडियो वीडियो लेक्चर शेयर करने से काम नहीं बनता इफ द थिंग दे रॉन्ग लेट मी कॉपी द कोड एंड शेयर विद यू है ना मैं अननेसेसरी को डिलीट कर दूँ एक सेकंड जस्ट गिव वन सेकंड आई डोंट दिस डिलीट दिस दिस अननेसेसरी कोड यू डोंट नीड दिस Use it. Uh, let me show this. Is it work still working? Uh, I enter something and I submit. Oh, right. Actually, you have to complete it. Ah, it's the second page. You have to get element by ID. Okay, second one. You can do that, right? Will it be done? Yes, sir. Good. Yeah, you have to do it. I am. I am. I am waiting. I will be waiting for this. Okay. All of you. Uh, you just think that you you are in the lab, and you're practicing in the lab, and you have to hand over the work to me. ठीक है ये बेटा मैं अभी आपसे तो ना WhatsApp group में share कर देता हूँ ये coding, and I'll just upload the video as well. Uh, give me like ten minutes. मैं video भी upload करता हूँ if you need any help from the video as well. Right okay बेटा? Again, any question? Because next topic, जो हमारा है वो है हमारे uh, का, ठीक है and switch statement का, and just one more topic, छोटा सा उसके बाद आई विल बी स्टॉपिंग एन आई डू दास सो लेट्स फ्राइडे की क्लास में आई विल डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक और सैटरडे की क्लास में आई विल सॉल्व टू पास पेपर विद यू एंड आई विल गिव यू टू थ्री पास पेपर फॉर होमवर्क दैट्स इट देन आई विल स्टॉप इट जॉस कैप्टन That's our plan. ठीक हो गया बेटा? Yes sir. Right. चलो बेटा, मैं शेयर करता हूँ आपसे. Just give me five ten minutes. मैं कंपाइल करके वीडियो भेजता हूँ. Okay. I love Chris.